Hello everybody, I'm Caden. I'm Lindsay. And we're Adventures of a Stormtrooper. And today we're at the Milwaukee Alzheimer's Walk to End Alzheimer's. I always like to just call it the Alzheimer's Walk, but it's Walk to End Alzheimer's. And if you want to see any of their pictures, we learned their hashtag is hashtag walk the number two and ALZ. So that's a cool way to check out some of the photos from the walk. Usually we do our intro outside in front of like the venue. Today it is a very rainy day. So the rainy day attire is out. The stormtrooper has been unleashed. The handler has her f hands full. Unfortunately. The monster has been unleashed. Stormtrooper with free mobility and not on stilts. Very excited. I have my trusty R2-D2 umbrella. We got Lindsay a nice black umbrella and we're gonna sing in the rain. Probably, <laughs> probably not, there's too many people. I, Let's just be clear, I don't <laughs> sing well. But anyway, come along on our Milwaukee Alzheimer Walk adventure. Pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. So we made it to the Summerfest parking lot on this rainy day for the Alzheimer's Walk. So we got the Stormtrooper in the car today. So today's changing area is the same as every time we're at Summerfest, one of the dressing rooms at one of the stages. So. It's a nice dressing room. It's got nice big bathrooms for us to change in. It's where the performers get to change and things. So it's very nice. So essentially we get the green room. So that's kind of cool. We always love these changing areas. Summerfest treats us really nice. They do. I don't know if I've shown everybody this, but this is Lenny, my Kevorkian monkey lizard. <laughs> and he sits in my holster when we volunteer um, at places that don't let me wear my blaster or like at the hospital I wear him in my holster because otherwise my holster looks kind of silly empty. But today I can actually use my uh, E11 blaster and it's just a it's a Hasbro one that I painted up so it's to, it's not accurate to scale or anything but it's perfect so if like one of the kids really wants to uh, pick it up or if they drop it it's really no big deal I think I got it for 10 bucks and then I I uh, made it I painted it black and added like the um, the counting cartridge and the all the extra little greeby greeblies to make it a little more accurate so it's not the most accurate thing in the world it will not pass any sort of uh, uh, FISD inspection, but it works great and it's nice and light in the belt so it doesn't like drag your stormtrooper belt down. So that's just what I use if my wife doesn't break it. <laughs> well, usually I give you information about the different charities while I'm waiting for Lindsay to go find the coordinator, but funny enough, the, the coordinator from one of the other walks or some of the people from the walk yesterday, we were at the Green Bay one and also the Alzheimer's walk in Green Bay yesterday, so they already <laughs> recognized us and knew us. And we've been to this changing area before, so we didn't have to go find anybody today like we usually do. So now I'm going to give you the fun facts about the charity, just in case you didn't watch yesterday's video. So the, the Walk to End Alzheimer's is the number one fundraising charity for Alzheimer's worldwide. And if you'd like to find a walk near you in your local community, you can go to ATC dot a l z dot org there's a lot of letters so i wanted to make sure i get it right and i'll definitely put it in the title at the bottom so you can see because i know it's hard with the mic to enunciate the words the letters correctly but it's a really cool um walk for um alzheimer's because they give you the participants get a flower and there's orange yellow blue and purple each flower represents what you're walking for. Orange is if you're walking just to support Alzheimer's and it's a cause close to your heart. Blue is if you personally have Alzheimer's. Purple is if you have lost somebody to Alzheimer's. And yellow is if you are a caregiver and you are giving someone care that has Alzheimer's. So they'll give you a, a flower and then it's part of their flower garden for Alzheimer's. It's a really cool a unique giveaway. I really like what they do at their walks. They're all really well done. They usually have DJs and all that, which is annoying for copyright, but it's a nice environment, but 
like the walks are great so I'm interested to see what they do with a rainy day because they do them rain or shine so this will be in first for us so now that we're changed let's get out there someone decided to sleep on the job <laughs> hi <laughs> Sleep in this week because I was done with book two early morning troops for two days in a row. Yeah. I'm gonna go work tomorrow. Yeah. So maybe. I will. You go back to sleep. <laughs> and he stuck the landing. Nine point eight. <laughs> Playing pickleball? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. So, this is the 30th annual year for Walk to End Alzheimer's. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> Get the bubbles. I'm not doing nothing. More than playing with the bubbles. <laughs> So they have this little archway for our team photos that you can take your photo with. So here, so here's all the t-shirts from all the previous walks, at least here in Milwaukee. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> you know I can see you, right? No, I'm invisible. Okay. <laughs> now you really can't see oh, yeah. behind a tree. Totally. <laughs> Did find one you like yet? <laughs> there we go. Now we can barely see you. <laughs> Shh, I'm on a secret spy mission. Okay. So like apparently it used to be called Memory Walk before they switched to Walk to End Alzheimer's. So that's what we'll see, the difference with the t-shirts. <laughs> and it looks like the first couple, first two walks were a dog walk and a people run all the way back in 92 what a great year yep no <laughs> one say that's vintage <laughs> otherwise the TK36544 will come after you because that's when he was born <laughs> someone was nice enough to give Kate an orange flower so now he can't stop playing with it that was their mistake. They keep giving me things to play with. <laughs> I have a sign, I got a flower. Last year they gave me a t-shirt. <laughs> you gotta make the noise and you do it. Yep. And this is the advocacy flower, so we fall under that because we like to promote Alzheimer's but don't have anybody who personally is affected by it. But that doesn't matter. We have friends who have people that are affected by it and that's all that matters. Because we care. The Empire cares for your needs. Kind of. Babe, I promise to remember, honor, fight, and care. I feel like that could be the slogan for the Death Star as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Those are good core values. Yeah. Also, I have a flower. <laughs> the deadly flower. It will hypnotize you look into my flower and tell me your rebel scum secret. <laughs> and then they also have a sign on the sponsors for this year. And so, so I left Caden alone for two seconds. And they gave me instructions to be as loud as I possibly could. And I asked if I could annoy somebody and they said yes. So of course, 
for your noise, it's about too late. And they also gave me beads because I'm a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> So someone told Kanan he was too nice to be a stormtrooper. And my response was that I'm a pub I'm the public relations stormtrooper. So I bring people into the Empire. Like my my slogan is come to the Empire, we have cookies. What the Empire does with you afterwards, I am not liable for. But we will give you a cookie if you join the Empire. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. Everybody loves cookies. Everybody loves cookies. <laughs> and you get to choose the cookie. Like we're not we're not like dictators or anything. We don't delegate what kind of wink wink cookie you're going to get. <laughs> like if you get imperial rations, I can't help you. Hopefully a wookie cookie. Wookie cookies are the best. Yeah. Although troublesome cuz they strangle you. Yes. But they make good cookies. They do. I do highly recommend the wookie cookie. <laughs> Imperial high five. <laughs> well, Kaden got his wish. It's raining. Oh, well, it's pouring. Playing in the rain. Playing in the rain. Nothing. Have a fun time in the rain. Jana holds the yellow flower for her mother, Vera McGee, who is 95 years old and has dementia. And her daughter, Laura McGee, who is three years old, has Lyra syndrome and is exhibiting dementia symptoms. Johnny says it is so important to surround your family with love. for coming along on our rainy day Milwaukee walk to end Alzheimer's walk with us we stayed and of course as soon as we went in to dry off the sunshine comes out so now that we can have a beautiful rest of our Sunday and we hope you to have a beautiful rest of your day thank you for watching and coming along on our Alzheimer's walk adventure